Nothing to do with. Please, Lady Marjorie, please don't send me back to Highgarden. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. My lady, is there something I can help you with? I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just, I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. But, uh, Lady Marjorie, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I must have it wrong. It must have been some other handmaiden making a scene with Lord Andros. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please. You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. My lady, I... I'm sorry. Sarah's telling the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel betrayed. I won't have it. Oh, forgive me, Lady Marjorie. Oh, I promise you it won't happen again. You're right, it won't. I can no longer have you near me, Mira. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But, but, but my lady... I said get out. Mira, wait! After what you told Tarwick, I swore I would never talk to you again. But I have to ask, why did you stop Lady Marjorie from sending me home? I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. You're my friend, Sarah. I look after the people I care about. That hasn't always been the case, but I appreciate it now. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose this is goodbye. I'm not sure when... I'm not sure we'll see each other again. Sarah? I'm sorry I told Tarwick about your name. 
I confided in you, Mira. And you betrayed me. <sighs> I doubt I'll ever truly forgive you for that. I just... I was trying to be honest. I hope you can understand that. Since you helped me with Marjorie, I owe it to you to tell you this. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Careful, Mira. You're on your own now. Westeros! All we eat is fucking bread! We've passed villages. We should have raided them. You didn't come here to steal from farmers. We didn't come to get ambushed either. But plans change. You can't believe my little brother's gone. All that bloody fool wanted was to come back to Westeros and fight for his family told him it was stupid, that we had a good thing going across the narrow sea. But he did it anyway, all for a family who cast him out, who banished him to the other side of the world, but begged him to return when they needed him. It wasn't me who sent Asher away. Our father did that, to save his bloody life. Yeah, from the White Hills. And those cock-sucking cunts still got him in the end. Asha would have been sick at the thought. I keep expecting to turn my head and see him riding beside me. <laughs> Laughing at the idea that he, of all people, could actually be dead. But then I turn and... It's just you. N no offence. It's just... A... Not how I expected this would go. Asha died to save my life. I'll never forget it. He was a caring idiot. I'll give him that. Him and I, we used to sneak out of Ironrath and get drunk on mead with the Chandler's daughters. He could drink like a fish. But I'd get so drunk he'd have to help me walk home. One time he even carried me. We did the same thing once, actually. Except it was Valerian fire whiskey and a butcher's girl. He was a good little brother, wasn't he? He was. If I do just one more thing in this piss life of mine, it'll be to make those bastards pay. You'll get your chance for revenge. The White Hills have shown their hand. They'll be coming for us now. But first, Roderick has a duty to bear. He needs to tell his mother that she's lost another son. <laughs> 